Welcome to another edition of First Minister's Questions Review. And uh, once again we're reduced in numbers by the missing Mr. Attridge, who we believe is probably on either back or on his way back from Cuba. I dare say it was all very fine. We'll get the whole report okay. next week. Hope he hasn't caught anything. <laughs> yes, going to tropical countries, you can get all kinds of things. <laughs> <Indeed. laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yes. Meanwhile, uh, today's First Minister's questions was, hmm, I would say average, we'll see what the pundits have got to say. Let's give Alex a start this week. Mr. Alex Grant, that's just Norman Stewart, myself, Stuart Lockett. Alex. Right. Um, yeah, I would agree with you. It was a fairly average um, performance. There was nothing particularly exceptional, uh, apart from we Wally. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, I thought Alex was uh, pretty competent. I, d I didn't think that he, at the end he scored um, some uh, more direct hits off Margaret's question because I gave him a great opportunity. Um, but uh, if you focus on Mrs. Lamont, um, her questions about the health service, it, there's no question it is easy to find uh, in any uh, walk of life an element of performance, whether it's uh, chaos caused by snow, as happened two or three years ago, and the transport secretary had to resign as a consequence, or the queues in A and E are bigger. Uh, Alex's answer, I think, was was very competent, but I actually thought he could have hit her even harder on that. Um, I, I, I do get the impression he is being advised the whole time to, to not go for the jugular, because some voters don't like it because I think he could have gone for the jugular on it. He made the points, but um, it wasn't quite as acerbic as I think he can be. Well, but on that point of the advice, um, given the, the very small numbers of people who actually watch mm. First Minister's questions, um, it's really the second hand or the third party reports that matter to Joe Public. The headlines, the sound bites, whatever the, the media then report that, yeah. that matters, surely. Well, no, it is, then they can always report to any which way they like. So you could argue he should just go, he should go for the jugular. He should have said, look, no one's saying, because there isn't such a thing as a uh, per perfect, perfectly operating uh, health service anywhere on the planet. However, we've invested more than you. We've got better, we've got better uh, results than you had. You didn't invest in it. And the best example of a devolved situation in Wales shows what Labour does for you. So please do not suggest that anybody entering A&E, the man on the hospital trolley that you started with, um, is at risk under the SNP. He would be a damn sight greater risk under you. And if we look at what's happening in England under the coalition over here, it's going to give In fact, there was a report out this week from some one of the watchdogs, I can't remember what it is, saying there's a disaster about to happen in A&E in England. So there was a perfect opportunity there to stick it right in there. So you should be writing his speeches. Well, I could have written a better response. Or his strategy meetings just before he comes yeah, into the chamber. Yeah, I think he could have been much tougher. I mean, it, it's this, you know, lying on a trolley. It was a good line. I'm sorry. I mean, I've been to hospital often enough with not very serious stuff, but once with a very serious thing, and you lie on a trolley. Yep, I remember you know, waking up on a trolley. You know, they put you on a trolley and you stay on that trolley until you go. No, you get yeah, but she's not saying there's anything wrong with on a trolley. What she said is the statistics for the waiting times in A&E have gone up. Uh, they're 100% worse than I'd, they were. I'd be really, because she keeps going back to this guy. I would love to know if this guy was hooked up to any sort of monitoring. Because there are conditions sure. where you are left. Yeah, yeah. Although monitored, you are left on an sure. armed sure. monitor to see what happens. Sure, but look, that's only a soundbite, Nori. The no. point is the statistics she was quoting were very heavy duty statistics. She quoted several health authorities where the waiting times over a period, I can't remember the exact period, had gone up by 100%. Well, well at that rate, do we... Yeah, but she's do we, the winner. She we, won't be able to do this. All right, but we, do we compliment her on the, the research that her assistants are, are doing at the moment? No, I, I, I think she's taken the easy way out. I, she's, she's not... I mean, Simon's always going to be able to come back with. She's in her comfort zone. She's performed well two weeks on the trot. Could be three weeks. But she, to yeah. really hit him, 
she needs she needs to find something. She needs the curveball. She needs something she's not expecting. Yeah, yeah. Well, but she, you know, you're, as we discussed earlier, she did be better last week because the currency is a much much more tricky question to deal with. This week, you're absolutely right, Noriel. Yeah, you know, just it's meat and drink, isn't it? Chess every week. Uh, it, well, it it's is because, be because you know. All the parties use it to try and vilify whoever's in charge. There's no question. <laughs> I was just thinking, Labour NHS, the Tories were the law, and Willie was... <laughs> they were going to have to devote half the programme to Willie. Oh, yeah. I mean... But... Kamikaze. <laughs> yeah, well, when you consider... I walked in here before it started and I said, well, for, for the first week in 10, Willie can he talk about two-year-olds because his boss has just said X, Y, Z. Right. And he stood up and said it. Alex, I'm, I mean, I, that wasn't feigned amusement. He was gobsmacked. And then when he, when he went back at him, he, still, he thinks he can get up and still do a soundbite that says, well, you're still not answering the question. Why haven't we got more two-year-olds? Actually, now I think about it, the, the, the overall... Uh, picture this week seems to be in that um, some of the questions by not not by the party leaders were actually better and more interesting than the, the party leaders one. Neil that, Finlay, that's often the case. Yeah, yeah, Bailey, Margot. Yeah, they were. No, you could say, yeah, it is often the case. You're right. But the, but the truth is, you know, you, the more we talk about it, I, I tend to agree with you. I, I don't I don't think there was a hell of a lot of difference in performance between Lamont and. And Alex, in some respects, but was that a killer question that they can turn into a headline? Well, I dare say the press can do anything with no, anything. But it, 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 well, yeah, I mean, had had it been a case that we didn't have an anti SNP press, yeah, I'm sorry, you don't run the same headline four weeks in a row. Well, it would have been a non-story. That's at least the third time she's brought this up. I know it is. If, I'd be much more impressed if she'd said, "Oh, Mrs. McSugar." The Octa Mukti, you know, lay on a trolley. But it's the same guy she's talking about. I know. Can, can they not find anybody else? Well, obviously. Is there well, one person in the Scottish NS NHS has lain on a trolley for more than four hours? Do you know what? It's interesting. Normally, Salmon yeah, rebuts statistics with other statistics yeah, in a list today. of them. He didn't do that today. No, he he did. just went for. No, he well, did. Did he? No, oh, he did. He said the, the, the satisfaction rates. With with uh, the Scottish yeah, NHS have gone it, up the five. It was it. Was, yeah, it he didn't quote them. It was two statistics as opposed to ten. Yeah. He did quote them. Nobody gave them list. And, he's, he's, and he didn't mention Staffordshire. He's moving Under away. Watch. He's moving away from these long lists of statistics. Yeah, they're Again, dull. somebody's saying to him, "No, you, you need to give that up. You need to be emotional." I think. Well, yeah, I, d I think I think he should have been more emotional, but I think he should have said. Please, do not tell me that this, this party and this government do not care. I'll tell you what's a demonstration of people who do not care. People who, lo who reign over Staffordshire, where hundreds of people died unnecessarily. Parties who, when asked the question, do you want to spend 100 billion on Trident, say yes, even though they're taking the NHS apart in England. Well, when did your boss, and by the way, have you talked to your boss lately? Because when you were interviewed last week, um, you wouldn't answer the question about whether you'd talk to your see, boss. We didn't, we, see, this tells here, we've got the, this is their answer now. Maybe just, let's, let's focus on something that is slightly, we just kind of agreed on this anyway. <laughs> the, 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 the minor, the bit players today actually seem to get, um, do quite well. What was Margaret McDonald, Neil Finlay, Jackie Bailey. Yeah. Um, and their contribution, just for a change, added to the, the, the made it a better, they kept it as an average FMQs, without their contributions it was, it wasn't going anywhere to be honest. Yeah, in fact, it, apart it, from of course Willie, now who's going to give us the, the well, just before, Sorry, just before you get to Willie, you're absolutely right, Jackie Bailey's question about the National Health Service was far, far better than Joanne Lamont's, because she asked the question about what the, what the Health Secretary had said and then had been, ref, had been, had been rejected by his apparatchiks and asked Salmon what the truth was and he didn't answer it. Yeah, well, it so you're right. Not, tends not to answer Jackie Bailey, it just uh, reminds us how well, she I know, thought no, lying before. No, no, no. Jackie Bailey said that the minister had said that the bed numbers would stay the same. Yeah. And Salmon came back with the bed planning tool and Jackie Bailey came didn't back. didn't answer it though. So the bed planning no, no, tool, she what, said. What, what, oh, yeah, she did. what Salmon said was right. The, 
the ability to judge the number of beds we need is contained within the bed planning tool. Da da da. She came back with the bed cutting tool. Mm -hmm. It's been renamed, she said. I know. But again, Jackie Bailey does this all the time. He came back and went, oh, right, bed cutting. Under the Labour Party, boom, 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 yeah, boom, no, boom. That's fair comment. You're right. You know, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Every year. So, I'm sorry, he won that. Margot's contribution about the Foreign, uh, Foreign Affairs, Affairs Committee. Committee report. Yeah, yeah. All they were talking about was their prestige and how that uh, Scotland yeah. was to leave the UK, they would lose prestige here, there and everything. And he, I think and he managed not to say English prestige, he managed to say uh, our UK. Yes, well, yeah. 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 which is always tricky, yeah, yes, which agreed. Is, which is, it's, it's a good point. Um, Neil Finlay's question about lobbying, that was very relevant because uh, the proposed uh, Westminster legislation to limit lob the the power of lobbies, lobbying and lobby interests was dropped from the Queen's speech yesterday. And what, and what did his boss have to say about that? Miliband, did he criticise him on dropping that? I don't, I didn't hear I that. I have no idea, yeah. Because if he didn't, you see, Simon should have gone back yeah. at him and Miliband's said... Miliband's got, got to be blaming himself up for whatever happens after poli politics. The same as Tony Blair, you know, he's got to... His, he needs his lobby. Well, I, yeah, I know right. that, but you can't have a minion saying what you're going to do about lobbying when the minion's boss didn't do anything about uh, saying he's to not, he's not Cameron. Uh, he's not an apparatchik. Uh, uh, Neil Finlay's a very red. He's from the unions. Uh, that, that doesn't matter, though. You oh, say... Oh, I'm sorry, in the Labour Party no, it matters yeah, a lot. Well, I know he's it matters. He's never going to sit a, on, a, on a Westminster front bench. He's a, he's a red. No, I know that, but, it's, but that's not the point. The point is, if you're the leader of the Scottish Government, you turn around and say, Mr Finlay, why are you asking me about about something which we, in fact, I would contend are more robust on? Um, if you get any specific suggestions, by all means, bring them forward. But don't you think it would be a good idea if the Labour Party actually did something about that? Because your boss isn't interested. Well, what have you got to okay, say about it? Okay, let's look at it in terms of Scotland. The way the unions are falling at the moment, and he is a union man. He yeah, is yeah. a union mm -hmm. MSP. Yeah. Right? The way the unions are falling at, mo at the moment, you could end up with more unions for in, support of, in support of a yes yeah, vote, yeah, you could. in a no vote. Yeah. Simon isn't going to antagonise a union rep. And he, I'm sorry, I mean, it, we, well, we've spoken to him. This guy is a union I know, rep. I know, but he, look, no, much more than a Labour Party. He was, yeah. he was good. We, we, we went to, what was it? It was a debate here in, in the Out of the Blue Drill Hall, Neil Finlay was at. And, uh, he is, he's soft he, on, 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 on the, the Constitution. He's not a, a, a oh, rabid, rabid. No. no, 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 no. No, but you don't, the point I'm making is quite simple. You don't attack him, you attack the Labour Party. You, and then you say to him, I think you should be challenging your boss about this, because as in so many issues, your boss is more interested in pandering to Westminster in the southeast of England than he is to Scotland or anywhere else well, in the United Kingdom. So yeah, please okay. don't criticise this forum, which, by the way, your mate stood up in Parliament, your deputy leader, and said this was an undemocratic institution run as a bloody dictatorship. So it's all very well you asking me that question. I'll listen to you if you've got a specific suggestion, but why don't you go talk to your boss? All right then. Now, the look more here. important thing about that exchange was the opportunity that Simon gave both Neil Finlay and Ruth Davidson to come up with a proposal, yeah. With a solid proposal that he said they would take seriously and in the spirit of cooperation and all that. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's good. Now, point. he started doing this more often. Mm. He, he is trying to look conciliatory, yeah, and that's that was part of his calming himself down, mm -hmm. not going for the jugular. That's well, that, the kind of thing. Okay. Well, let's, like. let's also consider what wasn't mentioned. There could have been some references. Uh, there's a, a poll which doesn't do uh, the Yes campaign a lot of uh, service this morning, published in the Times. Uh, no reference to that at all, not even obliquely. Uh, there's been a, a big row about uh, racist comments by a, 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 a very highly placed Labour apparatchnik called Ian Smart, and that's been simmering for the last few days. No reference to that either. I'm surprised that neither of these at least got a mention somehow or other. Well, who, the point is, who would mention it? You see, obviously the Labour Party ain't going to mention it. The Tory Party, the, the better together people would never would never raise that. The first point, your point about the poll is interesting. I don't know why somebody didn't raise that. 
That's very interesting. But as far as the racist rubbish that came from being smart was concerned, I'm not surprised that that didn't get raised. And quite frankly, if you were the SNP, you wouldn't actually try and fit that in anywhere because, you know, no, it's, you're asking it's for an open door to the cyber net ac accusation. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. So that's why I think that wouldn't be mentioned. But you're right about the Ipsos Mori <coughs> poll. I don't know why that didn't get mentioned. Could would they have think... had access to it in time to actually? Well, if you've seen it, they'll have seen it. Yes, I mean it was must yeah, have been, it was published of... overnight. So and uh, they, you know. They... Yeah, no, they they have they have had it, and it's an easy grenade to lob in any context. You know, you ask a question, still you say, above thirty percent, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's still 31%. But it's gone down a bit. Yes. So you would no, still... it's gone down compared to the last good yeah, Epsos Mori. Yeah, 34 hasn't to 31. Gone, hasn't gone down in terms of the other polls. No, no, I know that, but it's gone back. It's, okay, so it's one, one sample, but well, politicians let's, usually... Okay, well, let's, let's run through um, their usual scoring then, which we've been in, 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 at this point we're allowed to get a bit more specific. Uh, the presiding officer was a deputy, if you noticed. Um, and she wasn't noticed, which I would say... Was a good thing. Oh, no, I, I had quite a lot of shouting going on because Salmond and uh, Lamont had to stop on a, at least one occasion and wait for the noise to subside, and there was no Hodger Weiss coming from her. I, I actually thought she was worse than the normal presiding officer. However, as you say that, uh, well, I, she wasn't that noticeable. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> right then, uh, let's let's start with Norris scoring this week. Um. Joanne, I thought, did well again this week. Not as well as last week. Um, it's getting to the point where I have to score her realistically, not allowing for the fact that she's not been there that long, etc. So let's let's presume she sneaked into the first division. So I'll give her a six yeah. on that. Um, I think Alex beat her. I don't think he beat her well, but I think he beat her. Yeah. I do, however, think he did much better against everybody else. Um, which, <laughs> Willie Rennie just <laughs> gave him an old Well, he did so. It was Salmon that said kamikaze. I'm not, yeah. I'm kind of in agreement with Alex about this. I think, I think he still, he needs to get that killer punch. Um, the National Health Service, as I said earlier, uh, he needs a one-liner for that. Joanne Lamont keeps using this th in the real world. And he needs something like, yeah, the real world in Swansea is mm -hmm. cut funding to the National Health under a Labour yeah. devolved administration. He needs he needs to start doing the real world in Scotland is, but the real world in England yeah. is, the real world in yeah. Wales is. Right. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, so he's missing a trick. Uh, Willie Rennie. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't scored something yet? Oh, sorry, I'll give Alex an eight. Yeah. Uh, Willie Rennie... Entertainment value, oh, 10 out of 10. Best laugh I've had in Aye. first person's question. Yes, you were very loud, loving. Politically, the guy is a complete numpty. It's unbelievable. He's, I mean, his boss says, you know, four or five hours before he gets to ask his question, the exact answer, essentially, that Salmon's been given him for is, the last 10 right. weeks. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many times. I think he must have asked the question about two-year-olds seven out of eight times. Oh, easy, easy. And the ninth time, he's, he's even in disagreement with his boss. The guy's a knob. And the, all, all, and a as knob. I say, in Salmon, first response was kamikaze. Yeah. Well, well I'm, I'm, I'm giving him a minus five. <laughs> but, right, I'm giving him a plus ten for entertainment. Okay, <laughs> which means he's getting a zero. I know that's not mathematical. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. What about um, Ruth then? Ruth? Yeah, I thought she actually asked the question quite well. Yeah. She's back to doing her I've already got the answer thing. Mm -hmm. and she wasn't over smug. I, and, she, and, and Simon wasn't able to actually say, well, things are worse in England. Well, what they're beginning to learn is when you ask Alexander the question, make the answer complicated. Make the truth complicated. Because he does do the statistical thing. He was quite right. It's, it's, you know, unless you want the law changed, you know, this, these are decisions that have to be independent of government. That's true, and how, but how effective is it to go back 20 years, referring to this, which, whichever, whatever the act is that uh, it covers uh, whole life sentences right. in no, Scotland. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're bringing that up when the Tories were in power. Is it really effective? It's a 20-year-old. 
No, well, it's not. It's not effective if, as uh, if, as I said a moment ago, um, before we started recording, uh, she suggested that in England they had done something about this. She wasn't specific, but he didn't refute that fact. So she inferred that there was something that could have been done above and beyond the 1993 Act, or, or it was that he referred to, which mm. is pre-devolution. Um, so. She inferred that you could do something. He didn't answer it, and then he said, "If you got any suggestions, let me know." And I, I, I don't think the answer to that was very good. I well, see, I, I think you're going to see a lot more of. Well, give you, you give me what your idea is. On what? Well, Lamont, Lamont, starting the Labour Party is starting to do this thing. We're willing to sit down and talk to you. Yeah. Right. So Sam can go along with that. He doesn't have a problem with that. No, no. But if he starts throwing the ball back into their court and they don't come up with anything, he's got a ready-made answer for no. the next time it comes up. Agreed. All right, but what's, you know? what's the score of her roof? Um, I'll give her a four, actually, because, you know, it, it was effective enough, as you say. Salmon wasn't prepared on it, you know. No. He wasn't prepared on it. So, presiding officer, I'll give a two-two. Just because I can't think of really why I should give her anything else. Oh. Well, well, I pretty much agree with all those scores. Um, I, I think Alex made all the points, but I don't think he made them as well as I know he can. Um, I still think he's a couple of points better than them. So my my ratings, I've I've rated John Lamont a six and Ruth Davidson a six. Um, Ooh. Well, because I think Ruth Davidson was better than Joanne Lamont, but Joanne Lamont was, was using the bigger question that we all know everybody's interested in, no matter how many people watch this, but I have to put it in that context, in the health service. So I've, I've given them both um, the same score. I've given Alec eight as a couple of points better than that because I think he handled it very competently, but I've seen him do a lot better. I do believe, and uh, Willie Rennie I've given zero to, I mean, if, if Phil had been here, it would have been minus 25. But I tend to, because, because of what you said about the entertainment value relative to what he's supposed to be doing for his living, then zero is the kindest anybody could be. So he's an irrelevance, so let's forget about him. I, I agree with what you're saying about, if, if someone is, is trying to be, A, appear less confrontational for all the reasons we know, because some people don't like it, and B, he, uh, he is, he is trying to um, use what's, what is a very good line of defence, which I don't think in the past has been used often enough. Um, if they say X, then the answer to that is, well, um, actually, when you were in charge, it was minus, X minus. So I don't know who you're complaining about. And give loads of examples about how incompetent they were in office. And then say, but I tell you what, I'm a nice bloke. Uh, if you actually think, for example, that we should have more resource, because he tends to take the Tories out on this for the reasons we've discussed ad nauseum. They criticise something and he turns around and says, are you joking? This isn't great in Scotland and you're doing what you're doing in England. A consequential right. fact. No, no. Uh, give us a score for the presiding officer. You're having another rant here. Oh, okay, two. Minus two, uh, sorry, uh, I wonder, uh, two, two. Uh, two. two. <laughs> but, he, but he doesn't, you're right, he, yeah. he doesn't need to say, where's your ideas? Right, so let me see. I'll go start with Alec. Alec was, Average for Alec, um, so I gave him a seven because it was average for Alec. Uh, Joanne, I think I have to move to um, the position that Norrie took, uh, uh, taken on Joanne. Um, she is holding to. It seems to me she's had three good weeks, so um, I'm sorry, I'm going to give her a seven. Oh, um, Ruth as well, six. No, six would be for too much, but um, give her a five because she did. She made her point. Um, as I say, Salmon didn't even refer to things being worse down south or it was all, t all the coalition's fault. They didn't use that argument, so to be, she, she got away with that. I have to agree with Willie Rennie. What a joke. Kamikaze Willie. Um, <laughs> minus five. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the presiding officer. Hmm. You didn't give me a score for Ruth. Uh, I thought I did. I didn't give him five. Oh, I think he did say five. Uh, yes, presiding yes, officer, yes. I would say probably two as well. She just uh, she wasn't that noticeable, and they, they did do a lot of shouting, I suppose, in both Joanne and 
Alex had to stop. I suppose in reality we should be really happy she isn't a Burkle. You know, who tested the field. Um, How are we totally not? Uh, Willie, surprisingly enough, came last with a minus five, but um, the ghost of the clown of Willie Rennie. Yes. Um, Ruth came in third with 15. Joanne, it is strange that, because Joanne's beaten Ruth, but Ruth, I think, was probably more effective but they're doing a different job of presentation. Mm. So Joanne's coming at 19 and Alex is coming at 23, which is maybe strangely probably a bit more generous than he deserved against Joanne. Although I think he dealt with everything else yeah. Yeah. more reasonably. Yeah, um, and Margot, do we oh. give Margot a score? I well, think. If you like. She could represent the rest of them. Oh, right. The back bench. She's way. always good. I, I would score the back benches very high. I this think, week. I think they, were the, they were the saving grace. They, they yeah. saved. They turned it into grown up politics. Yeah, again. yeah, no. Yeah. Come in. That yeah. was good. Yeah, no, I agree. So we should maybe have a category for back benches. Anyway, well done to the back benchers this week. Yeah. And uh, yeah. as we head for the half hour on this FMQ's review, we have to say thank you for the viewers and listeners for watching or listening. Uh, we'll be back next week, and thank you, Nori, thank you, Alex, and it's goodbye from myself, Stuart Locker. Goodbye.